An alleged case of illegal voting will head to trial in Star County. This despite both sides pushing for a dismissal today. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez with the turning point. Prosecutorial misconduct and selective prosecution. Strong accusations for any investigatory agency to face. Today, those are the allegations the Attorney General's office was strongly refuting. It stems back to a dead vote cast in Star County's 2016 Democratic primary. Bernice Garza is facing charges for signing an application for the deceased voter's ballot by mail. Her attorneys say she pre-filled it, not knowing the voter was dead. Prosecutors, believing she did know and forged signatures on the ballots, tested the DNA on the mail-in ballot application envelope. The DPS Wesico lab found the DNA on the envelope was in Garza's. Her attorneys say the state had only 30 names of deceased people on the Star County voter rolls, but only prosecuted Garza. Investigators responded saying they prosecuted the only case with a ballot that was actually cast. Both parties were working on a deal to dismiss the case. Then, Garza's lawyers accused the AG's office of acting on a political relationship they share with the Star County District Attorney's Office. The deal fell apart. Today, after the judge mentioned possibly dismissing the case, Prosecutors admitted they had concerns about public perception. We would ask, Your Honor, if, if that's where the case is heading and there's going to be uh, an order of dismissal of the case, motion dismiss, that um, there be findings that there wasn't sufficient evidence uh, or that the evidence does not support the allegations that they have made against us in this case. Otherwise, we're left with this, this cloud. In the end, the court denied the defendant's motion to dismiss this illegal voting case based on the accusations of prosecutorial misconduct and selective prosecution. Unless a deal is struck, the case is scheduled to go to trial next month. In Edinburgh, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.